Yeah, so what I'm going to do is make another uh, water trap like this for the other garage. This is made out of inch and a half pipe and three quarter inch at the bottom. And I never get even one drop of water out of the second drain valve. So what I'm going to do in the other garage is only make it out of one piece of pipe. Yeah, and when you make it like this, the air goes through it much slower. So then all the water goes down and not out the air lines. And like these kind of uh, water traps, they don't work good at all. And when I went to the plumbing supply stores, they don't sell the pipe straps at Home Depot and Lowe's. They, they were out of inch and a half, so I got, uh, I got ended up getting five feet of a two inch pipe and the straps for like twenty dollars less than it would cost to go buy it at Lowe's. Yeah, and I've been using the heavy duty uh, te Teflon tape on everything. If I use the regular stuff, it seems to leak every single time. Well, I got that much of it done. I still have to make all these brackets where it mounts to the wall like this one. Also, right here there's going to be a valve that's going to point down where that hose is going to hook up to that other air compressor. And one of the problems with the air compressors that I have, the air inlet's right here and where it goes out is only a few inches away. If they had the air outlet on the other side of the tank, you probably wouldn't get much water in it. But all three of them that I got are like that. Yeah, I'm also going to rework this airline when that valve won't be on there anymore. Because the valve's going to be on that water trap instead. And then it's going to have to tie in that line that goes to the other garage. That has to be hooked up before the water trap, so if I have the air compressor running in the other garage uh, it, and I'm using the air in here, I won't, it'll go through the water trap. And that other air compressor's got to be hooked into it. That pipe will have to be ran over this way and capped off there. Yeah, I got a little bit more done. And right here at this valve, it's going to hook up that air compressor that's right by it on the wall. And this line here will run to this line that goes to the other, this garage and that other air compressor. And this line will hook to the line with all the quick couplers on it. Yeah, next I have to make all the brackets to bolt this on the wall. Yeah, so now I'm making all the brackets, and the easiest way to do this is to make one of the brackets, mount it up on the wall, level, and then pull the level to that pipe, and you can mark the two holes where the pipe strap's going to go, and then you can take it back off and drill it and tap it, and do each one of them that way. And I've also marked these brackets with a center punch mark, so I can put it all, all back in, in the same order. At when I take it all back apart at the end and paint each one of them. Well, I got uh, two of the brackets on there. There's going to be two more. Yeah, one right about there and one at the bottom. And I have to space this out for this three quarter inch pipe. Well, I got a little more done. I got the other two uh, brackets made up. Now what I have to do is space this out in these three places, and then drill it and tap it. Well, I made a little bit more uh, progress with it. I got all these brackets on there. Yeah, it takes a long time to tap all these holes. You've got to go real slow with it so you don't break the taps. Cause they're all 1024. Uh, Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is rework this pipe. And when this is straight, all these straps come out right on these screws. So what I'm going to have to do is bend this in here a little bit and get it, bring it over more this way. And I'll remove this valve and this piece. And I'm going to drop these quick couplers down a little bit. Yes, yeah, so I got this pipe bent. 
So now it's going to come out more where it's farther away from that screw. And I just put this screw in here to hold it so it doesn't fall off when I go to solder that. And to bend these pipes, I'm just using this uh, three-quarter inch EMT bender and a half inch one. And you can't bend this stuff very far or you'll kink it. So I got that uh, pipe reworked. So now what I gotta do is drill and tap all the holes for the straps. And I'm also gonna put a piece of metal in behind here for this to screw to. Yeah, and I'm not gonna solder the straps to the pipe for the uh, water trap until the very end. That way I can slide it down a little bit to get these pipes together on top and I can slide it back up. Yeah, so here's the piece that's going to go in behind there. And what I'll do is I'll screw this on here and then I'll tack weld it when it's on the wall and then I'll, I'll take the bracket back off and then finish welding it. Then I can start drilling and tapping all the holes. Yeah, I got the bracket almost done. Now I just got to drill and tap all those holes. And I'll probably paint this one before I put it back on so I don't have to keep taking it on and off. Yeah, I got all the brackets on there and painted. And I always take and solder these uh, pipe straps on next to the quick couplers. It makes this a lot stronger. Yes, yeah, so I should never get uh, any water out of these drain valves anymore. And this one, I only bent this out a little bit so it'd clear that handle. And there's another drain valve over here. Yeah, hopefully I'll never have to use the hose. Yeah, so now I'm going to start reworking the pipes. Up there, hook everything up. So what I've been using to cut the pipe when it's right next to the wall is just this uh, grinder with one of the thin blades in it. Yeah, I got that uh, one line hooked up. And I always spray water on it after that if I'm uh, soldering right up next to the wall. And I used a soft copper pipe up there because it's easier to bend because I still had a lot of it left over from when I ran it underground. Yeah, I got a little bit more done. I also used soft copper pipe for that. It was easier to bend it to get that bend right. Now I just got to run this over to this other uh, air compressor and I'll cap that off right there. Yeah, I got all the straps soldered on there. Yeah, and this strap here I didn't solder on on purpose, so if I ever have to replace the valve, it'll be still be in the right place. Yeah, so I got everything removed over here and capped off. Now I just need to run that pipe all the way across, connect it to this other pipe. It's up here. Yeah, and the reason I ran three quarter inch part of the way and half inch the rest of the way is just what I had left. So I can get rid of this pipe. Yeah, I got it all done. And I always, after I'm done, I spray soap and water on everything to make sure there's no leaks. Yeah, usually the only place you're going to have leaks at is where the pieces are screwed together at, where the valve is, 